Good afternoon and welcome to the Valley, Charlton's first home league game of this campaign. The two teams are out of the tunnel. Two changes for Charlton from the side that started away against Bournemouth last weekend. Johnny Jackson, who travelled, but it appeared had some kind of calf injury and so wasn't able to play last weekend is back this afternoon. Bradley Pritchard of course got sent off uh, in that match. He's still serving his ban so Danny Green who was on the attack he seemed to sort of stop his run to play the ball out to Albert Adoma and uh, Charlton were able to get back and prevent what looked to me like a really good opportunity. Yeah I mean uh Middlesbrough burst forward with pace and as you said Viagra it suddenly stalled and it gave Charlton plenty of time to get it back and they got back in numbers uh, and got it back and got their shape back and it's clearly uh, an elbow or something into Jan Kermigan from Whitehead. Well Kermigan's gone down and Whitehead comes across to have a conversation with the referee and the referee points to him to say go away for the moment and let me have a chat with the Charlton player. A few other Charlton players come across to uh, have a look at Jan Kermagat who stays down. I think the bench Charlton ended last season almost in the playoff places. Charlton coming forward again. And they are. They just seem to be playing a lot more positively and I imagine that probably has something to do with uh, a half-time conversation. Oh. This could be a chance. Callum Harriet drops to green. Blocked away by Jason Steele. It was a good ball in from Harriet. It got past Sordell and Kermigan. Green was there though. Jason still got enough to it to take it away. The first today for the Duke. And uh, a corner will be taken on this near side. And it'll be led better to take it. Might have taken it short to a domer. Instead, chose to play the ball in instead. Gower gets it away. Solly's there as well. It's coming oh, up there. No. Oh, and it's a terrible mistake that sees the ball go in for Djukovic and Middlesbrough to take the lead. Charlton just couldn't clear. Eventually it dropped to a Borough player and with 71 minutes on the clock, it's Tony Mowbray's men who take the lead here at the Valley. It's Charlton Athletic nil, Middlesbrough one and Chris Powell will be trying to turn it to Chris Solly but it doesn't drop to him and the full-time whistle will go and it is the Middlesbrough fans who celebrate. It's finished here at the Valley on BBC Radio Kent 774 medium wave. Charlton Athletic nil, Middlesbrough 1.